must be Professor Prever, our little art expert. <laughs> Come in, Professor. Uh, how to do them? <laughs> Can't you uh, just smell the Cellini in the air? <laughs> this is Major Nelson. How do you do, sir? Major mm -hmm. Healy. Professor Prefer. Get one? <clears throat> oh, I'll get it. I'll get it. No, I'll get it. I'll get it. <laughs> Oh, you get it, huh? <laughs> oh, uh, Dr. Powell, so, hmm. what are you doing here, sir? Hello, Major. I came to offer my services. Oh, that's very kind of you. You're a lot of things, Major, a lot of things. But you're not an international smuggler. I think you're going to find this a very exciting morning, Professor. For instance, here we have a genuine Ming vase. What would you say it was worth? About a dollar and a quarter. <laughs> Made in Japan. I didn't know how, but I knew it. We got the Renoir. With a moustache? I used to have an ad look like that. <laughs> that wasn't there yesterday. <laughs> Six fingers? <laughs> Some sort of practical joke. You bring me all the way here and show me a collection of junk? I don't understand. How about the safe full of money? <sighs> it's Confederate. Uh, how about the gold? <clears throat> Try one. <laughs> Chuck. I'll send you my bill. Uh, Major, Professor, just a minute. I can't tell you what a pleasure it is to see you do it to someone else. <laughs> About your trip to Jamaica, Dr. Bellows, you did say it was strictly government business. <laughs> now, why don't you level with me for the rest of the afternoon? <laughs> huh? Oh, oh, thank you, Jeannie. But I never want to go through that again. Neither do I. Well, it, it is your own fault, Master. <laughs> My fault? Yes. You should have told me that it would get you into trouble, Master. I never would have done that. There were many ways I could have impressed that nasty little man. He did not have to come into your house. 